Welcome to Mystery Miners Ghost Edition. I'm your host Theo. Today we are going to be talking about the urban legend of the babysitter and the clown. Just imagine the scenario. Tonight was one of the few nights where you and your husband are free. So, you guys decided that you want a night out for yourselves. You call up your usual babysitter, a nice girl who lives a few blocks away, who's been looking after your children for quite a while. Now you can leave your home in peace, and you are rest assured that your children are in good hands. And you're going to come back home and find them sleeping soundly in their beds in one piece. Right? But what if as a parent, all your worst nightmares comes true? So my spooky friends, sit back, relax, go grab a nice cup of tea, and let's get ready to get scared. The urban legend dates back to around the 1960s. A teenage girl is babysitting for a family in Newport Beach, California in the United States of America. The family lives comfortably in a big, big house, and they're known to be quite wealthy. They had ridiculous number of rooms in their house. The parents decided that they are going out for a late dinner movie, and it's one of their rare date nights since they are such both busy people. The father tells the babysitter that once the children are in bed, she should go into the bedroom and watch some TV. Wait for them there to get back. Their bedroom was right next to the children's bedroom. He told her that the kids have been having some vivid nightmares lately, so if anything happens, it will be a lot easier for the babysitter to go get them. Soon, the parents left for dinner and a movie date night. After giving the kids some dinner and spending time with them playing some board games, the babysitter finally gets the kids into bed, and she goes into the parents' bedroom to watch some TV. When a girl entered the room to watch TV, she froze in a doorway. At the far corner of the room, there stood a clown doll. It was a very lifelike. Super detailed, and it was human-sized clown doll, just standing in the corner of the parents' bedroom. It was quite terrifying, so she went and sat on the bed and tried to watch some TV. She tried to watch some TV, but the huge, lifelike clown doll kept freaking her out. For a moment, the babysitter could have sworn. The human-sized clown doll changed position a bit, and it blinked at her. A few moments passed, and the phone rang. It was the mother just calling in and checking in to see if the kids are all tucked in bed. The babysitter assured the mother that they're all sleeping safely in their beds. She also complained about the creepy doll clown in the corner of their bedroom, and asked if she could move the human-sized clown doll because it was scaring her quite a bit. There was a pause. The mother started to panic. She told the babysitters to take the kids and leave the house because they don't own a human-sized clown doll at all. Suddenly. There was a loud creak behind the babysitter. Without looking back, the babysitter rushed out of the parents' bedroom, ran to the kids' bedroom, took them by the hand while running out of the house. They ran to their nearest neighbor's home and called the police. The police arrived and arrested the clown, who turns out to be a homeless man dressed as a clown. He somehow got into the house. And had been living there for several weeks. He would come into the kids' room at night and watch them while they slept. As the house was so large, he was able to avoid detection, surviving off their food and water. He had been in the parents' bedroom right before the babysitter came in there. 
When she entered, he didn't have enough time to hide, so he just froze in place and pretended to be a doll. In darker versions of the tale, he is instead an escaped mental patient or serial killer, rather than a perverted homeless man. Many people have also stated that this story is based off a real unsolved murder case of Janet Chrisman. Janet was a 13-year-old babysitter who met an unfortunate grisly fate. The urban legend of the babysitter and the clown has become a cautionary tale over time. Thank you for watching today's episode of Mystery Miner's Ghost Edition. Make sure you catch us next week for another scary story on MI Radio.